What's up, gamers? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Poltergeist to destroy Terra Raid Dens in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And yes, this is a seven star Charizard raid getting one shot. Let's get into the video. This setup is going to utilize Poltergeist as an attacker, Oranguru as an instructor support, and two other Pokemon that can use fake tears to lower special defense of the enemy and helping hands to increase the attack of Poltergeist. Let's get into the big one, though, how to build the Poltergeist. The big part is where do you get poltergeist well these are the locations of synesty on your map if you open it up and i'm gonna head over to the one in alfernada this one's gonna be pretty easy to get because they're just roaming around the top just teleport over there to that area look around and you'll find your little teacup and go ahead and catch it but once you catch it it's going to be a struggle to evolve because you're going to need a specific item and luckily i can tell you exactly where to get that item all you're going to have to do is head up all the way north where that trail is it's basically that fall looking orange island up north and once you're there you're going to be in front of the shrine head over to the shrine part and place yourself there turn around from the shrine and start walking up that hill path turn right and then head towards that tree and you will be able to find that nice item called cracked pot and once you get that cracked pot you'll be able to put that item onto your synesty and evolve it into poltergeist now if that item's not there and you already use it you can just go ahead and day skip in the markets or the auction place in order to get it now that you got your synesty, you're going to need to start getting it ready for battle. You're going to need the move Shell Smash on it, and you're going to only be getting that after you get to level 60. So I just used a bunch of candies I had sitting around from all the raids I did, and just power level it to 60, and you can see that it is finally able to learn Shell Smash. So just throw that Shell Smash onto your Poltergeist as one of its main moves. By the way, don't forget, you do have to level this Pokemon up to 100 because that's going to be the very nice thing to do in order for you to clear these raids. Level 100 is really good. The other move you're going to need is Stored Power. This is a TM. And if you don't have this TM unlocked, I got you for this video. All you got to do is head over to Los Platos East, teleport right there on your map. It's one of the first teleport towns you get. And once you're there, walk to the town, follow exactly where I'm going, straight through the town, and then you're going to cut left. You're going to see a tree head towards that tree. As you continue to head down towards that tree, you're going to push a little further. And on my game, I already got it, but in your game, it might be there if you have it. And that item is stored power. And just like that, you got all the moves you need or your poltergeist if you enjoyed these kind of videos make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button it lets me know that you want more stuff like this and i'll make more videos just like this now for the fun part ev training this is a money job or this is going to be you have to go out and kill pokemon job now for poltergeist you're going to be wanting to max out its special attack it has a base special attack of 134 so we're going to want to take full advantage of that when using the move stored power because that's also a special attack move so at the chancy store go ahead and purchase 26 calcium which is going to be to max out your special attack. Then go ahead and buy 26 Carbos, which is going to max out your speed. And for those who want to optimize the best, buy 25 of each and just use Feathers to complete the rest of the EV training. Now, if you want to go the cheap route and not blow a bunch of money, you can go ahead and knock out 28 Psyducks for special attack with the Power Lens. You can knock out 28 Fletchlings for speed with the Power Anklet. And then you can go ahead and knock out one Paldean Whooper with the power weight or the HP. And that is the cheap and expensive way of EV training. Now, if you don't have the modest nature on Sinistee, you're probably going to want it because modest nature is going to increase the special attack while decreasing the attack. So go ahead and grab modest mint if you don't have it from the store, place it on your poltergeist, and it should show up as the special attack increasing while the attack is decreased. Now, my poltergeist that I used at the beginning of the video was not hyper trained at all. But if you want to just take that extra step, Purchase some bottle caps, go to the hyper training guy located on the map here, and just max it out even further so you can get a really disgusting special attack. And you won't have any fears of not being able to nuke the Pokemon. Once you do all that, you are set to go, and the only items you might need on it is a Citrus Berry to keep it alive if its health drops too low, or a Focus Sash so that if it does get one shot, it will be able to survive with that one HP in order to pull this trick off. Now, the other mandatory Pokemon you need for this strategy is going to be Oranguru. And unfortunately, this is a Pokemon Scarlet only Mon. But don't worry, I got you covered. On my Discord, there is a full entire chat group that people can trade the Oranguru for. So if you need it, you can get it over there. Now, Oranguru can be found on the map on this location over here. You can screenshot that if you need that. If you're a Scarlet player, so just go ahead and catch that. And what we're really going to be using Oranguru for is its move Instruct, which is basically going to make you repeat the last move 
that you have performed on your Pokemon. And for those who like these big brain strategy plays, you already know what we're going to be doing here. All you have to do for the Oranguru is just basically build it tanky so that it can survive and it can make sure to get off the move. You have to be able to use Instruct if you're playing Oranguru in the strategy. Now, the other two supports that we're going to be using for this are basically Pokemon that can learn Helping Hands and do Fake Tears. So Azumarill and Umbreon were two of the ones we used for this raid strategy. Fake Tears is a TM, so if you don't have the TM, I also got you covered in this video. All you're going to have to do is teleport to this location on the map that I have marked. This is basically a town where the bug gym is. Go to that spot, mark it up. You're going to travel right to the location I have put on. And once you arrive at this rock, you should be able to find Fake Tears. And Fake Tears is going to be able to lower the special defense of the target Pokemon. So you're going to be doing that in combination with your Poltergeist for an ultimate play. Again, these support Pokemon don't need to have insane builds. They just need to be level 100 and have the ability to survive and get these moves off. That's it. Okay, now we got all the Pokemon ready. Let's talk about how the strategy is done. On turn one, Poltergeist will use Shell Smash. Oranguru will then use Instruct after the Shell Smash has been done on Poltergeist so it can create another Shell Smash on the Pokemon. The other supports, Umbreon and Azumarill during turn one will both use Fake Tears to lower the special defense of the raid Pokemon. On to Oranguru will use Instruct again before Poltergeist uses its final move. So you'll be able to do another Shell Smash. So basically that's Shell Smash for the third time. Azumarill and Umbreon at this point will be using Helping Hand both on Poltergeist. So you're getting a two times helping hand on poltergeist and once you have everything all set up so basically once you get your sh shell smash off the two instructs off and the two helping hands off your poltergeist will then be allowed to use the stored power and you're going to want to communicate properly when someone is clicking something that way you can do everything free and flowing perfectly in sync for this and then you can go for the complete stored power nuke and wipe out almost everything in this game. Now let's see it in live action. The only drawback of this strategy is that this might not be as effective against Dark Terror Raid Pokemon, but you should be able to take out anything else. And if you find a workaround using this strategy, please community, let me know what you're going to do. I just wanted to plug the Discord here because I opened up a chat called Poltergeist Raid so you can all use this strategy and team up with other people that are using the exact similar strategy so that way you can coordinate better and nuke these raids. So go ahead, I'm plugging that in the description and in the pinned comment. Shout out to all the people that helped me on Discord to do this live. Let's go. Okay, so the Charizard match has begun. Again, this can be used on any single Terra Raid Pokemon you want. I just chose the seven star Charizard to show you a higher level difficulty at level 100. So here are all our Pokemon out and you can look at the top left and see what we're doing exactly here. I'm going to go for my Shell Smash and be the first one. Again, because it's a seven star Charizard, it attacks us first. But if it's any other raid, they will not go and attack you first like this Charizard. Anyway, so I get my Shell Smash off first. While you can see the Azumarill and Umbreon are also getting their fake tears off. The, sh the Shell Smash will tell you exactly what's happening here. And Rangru instructs me so I'm able to do this again. Because my health went low, that Citrus Berry came in clutch. And you can see that second Shell Smash going off right now. You can see my defense is dropping. And uh, now the Helping Hands are coming out by the Azumarill and Umbreon right over here. And you can see my special attack is raising because of these Shell Smashes. My speed is raising. And then Oranguru is going to go with another Instruct, just like we mentioned. And we're going to be getting our third boost here at this point. For some reason, they, I don't know why they did Helping Hands again, but it doesn't really work after the first two. At this point, we got our two Helping Hands. We got our, th our two Instructs. We have our three Shell Smashes that happened. And we had the, tier the fake tiers that basically brought down the Charizard. So now, at this point, you see the Stored Power. And it's a one-shot nuke on Charizard, the Unrivaled completely getting destroyed here and that's it look at that one shot nuke easy peasy lemon squeezy that was absolutely cringe what i just said but it's that simple all right if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like subscribe and click this video over here check this one out it's probably gonna be really interesting and cool and uh yeah you don't want to miss this one